Hello everybody and welcome back to another at home cocktail vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make six of some of the most classic cocktails that there are out there. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a mojito, a margarita, a whiskey sour, a basil smash, an old fashioned and a Manhattan. But before we get started into the video, I would like to introduce you to today's sponsor of the video, Premium Jane. Premium Jane is a CBD based company that have a wide variety of products, oils, capsules, gummies, they even have dog treats. CBD has been known to really reduce stress, anxiety, or even if you just like to take it to reach this fabulous Zen state. I love to take CBD. I will leave the link right here and also in the description below so you can go to Premium Jane and get 25% off your total bill at checkout. All right, you guys, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so cocktail number one is gonna be the mojito. So for the mojito, we are gonna take our shaker cup. We're gonna use two ounces of the Bacardi white rum. Then we're gonna wanna muddle some mint right into the rum. So I like to take about seven good pieces of mint, give it a little smash to release the oils. Then we're gonna wanna muddle that straight into the rum. Then we're gonna wanna use one ounce of simple syrup, 0.75 ounce of lime juice, then we're gonna give this a really good shake to break up all the mint and get all of those flavors incorporated. Nice handful of ice right in there. Close it up. Give it a really good shake. Rocks glass. You're gonna to wanna to dump all of the remains right in the glass. Having all of the mint and everything still in there, we're gonna give it some ice. with some soda. Give it a little stir. Then we're gonna garnish it with a half of a lime and a little piece of mint. And there you have a mojito. Okay, next cocktail is gonna be a margarita. Super classic, very popular cocktail. This cocktail gets shaken and we are gonna use one ounce of tequila. It gets one ounce of triple sec. And it gets one ounce of lime juice. I also like to muddle a little bit of fresh lime in there as well. A few little chunks to go in there. Throw that right in. And I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a muddle just to release the juices and the flavor. We're gonna give it a handful of ice and shake this bad boy up. Again, our nice little rocks glass. I personally do not like salt, but classically, you would for sure have salt on a margarita rim. And again, with this cocktail, you're just gonna dump everything straight into the glass and give some ice. And using the lime garnish for this cocktail, we are just gonna put it straight on in there. And there you have a classic margarita. Up next, we are doing an old fashioned, another extremely classic cocktail, usually identified as a very much so gentleman's cocktail, really good, really robust. Today, we are gonna be using the Woodford Reserve and it is gonna get two ounces. The old fashioned gets a sugar cube that you are gonna muddle right into it. So we're gonna give that a nice little muddle. The alcohol really breaks apart the sugars almost immediately, so you don't have to push hard. Give it just a little stir and a push down until you can feel almost all of the sugar is dissolved. Then we're gonna give it two dashes of regular Angostura bitters. Then we're gonna give it some ice and give it a nice stir. These cocktails you generally stir for about 15 to 30 seconds. 
depending on how cold you want the cocktail. This one is gonna get a large ice cube and we'll pour straight in. Now the old fashioned is gonna get a orange peel and a maraschino cherry garnish. So we got our nice navel orange here. These oranges are perfect for using as garnishes. They're nice and meaty, flavorful. There we go. Just gonna give this a little trim. Going to express those oils, then drop that straight in. Then it's gonna get a lovely little maraschino right on a skewer, and you just pop that straight in there as well. And there you have an old fashioned. Next cocktail we're gonna do is the whiskey sour. So once again, your classic shaker cup. This whiskey sour, I am gonna be using Maker's Mark, a fabulous bourbon whiskey straight from Kentucky. This is gonna take two ounces of our bourbon whiskey, one ounce of lemon juice, then one ounce of simple syrup. It's also gonna get two dashes of bitters into the shaker cup. And then we are gonna use a fresh egg white. You always wanna strain your egg white into the opposite cup, just in case you get any egg yolk in it or the white is bad. And then you're gonna give it a shake with no ice called dry shaking. Shake it up for about five seconds. Then open the cup, give it some ice. Give it a good shake for about 25 seconds. This one, you really want to work to make the egg white really expand and get that drink nice and cold and everything really incorporated. Now, I personally like my whiskey sours on the rocks, in a rocks glass, but you will see them a lot of the times straight up as well. So this, we are gonna give a nice double strain into the rocks glass. The double strain really purifies the drink, makes it nice and silky. Give it a little stir very lightly. A few more dashes of bitters right on top. Blend that in a little bit with the spoon. Then once again, a really nice maraschino cherry garnish right on top. And there you have a whiskey sour. Next cocktail is gonna be another really nice, summery, refreshing cocktail. This one is a little bit less common, but extremely good. And I suggest all of you give this one a try. Very simple, very easy, very fun. This one is the basil smash. So another muddled cocktail. We are gonna take our beef eaters gin and we're gonna use two ounces of it. We're gonna take some of our basil. Now these leaves are quite big, so you only need about two or three. Give it a good muddle right into the liquor, crushing up those leaves and releasing that flavor. Then it is gonna get one ounce of simple syrup and half an ounce of lemon juice. Then we're gonna give it some ice Close it up and give it a good hard shake to break up that basil. Then we are gonna take our Collins glass, strain the liquid right into the glass. And you can see it has a beautiful green color. And I love the pieces of basil running through there as well. Then we are gonna to top it off with ice. And this one is gonna get just a little basil leaf garnish. And there you have the basil smash. All right, the last cocktail we are doing today is a Manhattan. Very similar to the old fashioned, except a little bit sweeter because it gets some sweet vermouth. So I am gonna be using the bourbon. Once again, I like bourbon because it's a little bit sweeter, not so spiced and strong like whiskey. 
So we are gonna do two ounces of our Woodford bourbon. It's going to get half an ounce of sweet red vermouth, two dashes of bitters, and then we are gonna give it some ice and give it a stir. This Manhattan, I'm gonna be serving straight up, so I'm gonna stir it closer to the 30 second mark. We have our lovely little stemmed glass. And we are gonna strain right into the glass. Now the Manhattan here is just gonna get a little bit of orange for garnish. So once again, we have our navel orange. Give just a little trim on one side. Then we're gonna express all those oils right on top. Give it a little twist and drop it right in. And there you have a classic Manhattan. Well, there you have it guys. That is six of some of the most classic cocktails that are out there. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's at home cocktail vlog of making some of the most classic cocktails out there. Try out some of these yourselves. I'm sure you've seen them all over the place. Super easy, super fun, super good. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning into another video. Don't forget to go check out some of my other bar videos on my channel. I do cocktail vlogs at work so you can see me working in action, which is a lot of fun. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. Once again, thank you to our sponsor, Premium Jane, for sponsoring this video today. I love you guys very much. Hope to see you guys soon. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>